December 3rd, 1992, the first text using SMS technology was sent. It was a technology designed originally for signaling the operators for mobile communications. For instance, like to tell a customer that you have a missed call or you have a voicemail in your mobile system. However, this technology was not adopted by the population for many years until 1995. Basically, it was due to three components. Uh, the introduction of mobile, because many of these operators were uh, subsidizing the handset. Uh, second, the operators were connecting the networks, allowing to send SMS across different uh, telco networks. Last but not least, more important, that young people uh, find out that SMS was a low-cost communication factor. They couldn't afford paying the mobile uh, fees to do telephone calls, so they prefer like, to send these text messages. Before SMS, the normal way to communicate through internet was through email with an asynchronous uh, way of communicating. So we were sending the email and we were not expecting an instant reply. The introduction of mobility in the communication changed that completely. The message had a limitation of 160 characters. So young people say, listen, uh, we want to use this mechanism, but we want to save as much money as we can. So they develop a new language with emoticons, with free of orthography and also using a lot of abbreviations. SMS, obviously, uh, it was an important factor because of the low cost, but now with the introduction of the smartphone, we're accessing to internet through the mobile. And many of the operators are offering fixed uh, internet fees in order to access internet. So this concept of low cost is not anymore the barrier. So there are many over the top uh, messaging systems, for instance, the most popular one now is WhatsApp. And WhatsApp has a big impact on the revenues of the telcos. To give you some examples, in the year 2005, the SMS generated $147 billion of revenues. Uh, this last year, uh, the expectation is going to be a reduction or a decrease around $27 billion. In countries like the United States, where the consumers enjoy uh, plans that you can send as many SMS as, as you want, SMS is still popular. However, in Europe, telcos were more slow and they were trying to squeeze revenues from SMS and these over-the-top uh, messaging systems like WhatsApp basically are eroding and putting in jeopardy the future of SMS. However, SMS introduced this social change of short communications without the limitation in the new technologies, over-the-top uh, systems like WhatsApp, societies still use this short language because it's very convenient in order like, to do the communication more agile. 